Hello everybody, good morning and welcome to MC Jesse the Poet. Today is on a very sunny morning and I'm here right in the county number 20. This is county of uh, Kirinyaga County and uh, I want to give you a touch of how an African kid and how we grew up doing some of the simple activities that we used to, to do while still young and we are still doing them today. gentlemen after we are done with preparing firewood I was given another assignment to come and look for some sweet mangoes here you know where I come from we have different varieties of fruits and today we're just eating them fresh from the tree as you can see now I'm trying to to to, to look for one which is ripe so that I can test the feeling so join me as I try to look for one that I will be able to I will be able to, to eat and I can see we have one here. Yeah. One here, it's a big one, it's a huge one. Oh my goodness. Oh. This is it. You can see we are taking it fresh, fresh from the from the tree. And uh, some years back. We used to go up sure that we have some clean water on, uh, uh, on the ground and we would shake the tree and then the mangoes would fall and that would be a feast. Now today, we are just taking, we are just reminding ourselves of how that sweet memories were. And you can see the fruits. This is the apple mango, fresh from the tree. So I'll be going to feast it there and then... Uh, I think it's just therapeutic to be home. You see? In town, you have to buy this one like uh, 50 shillings. But home is free. Plenty of it. A lot of it. So, join me as we go and have a taste of this sweet mango. there's a lot of fruits all you need to do is to decide which one do you want to take now i'm standing here on my right we have the mango trees and on my left we have the avocado trees and uh this one this type of avocado is called the hash the hash is currently in the market very expensive and very sweet very nutritious and you can see in the market this one here, you have to get it at a cost of around 30 shillings. And at home, there are plenty of them. They are free. That's why I'm saying it's just sweet to be at home. That which we buy in the urban, in the towns, we're getting it for free here. It's plenty. So this one is still raw. So what you need to do, you just, uh, um, you just, uh, if, you, if you want to, to, to collect in huge amounts, you can. But of course, I had said that I'm coming home, so they had prepared some for me. So, as well, I'll be going, I'll be feasting all kind of fruits here. I'm going to show you another type of tree that we have here. So, join me. Let's go. And of course, as you can see, we have uh, bananas here, but now uh, it's it's the summer season or i can say it's sunny season so they have they're not doing well here but we have one here you can come and see and for my good friends who don't know maybe you can you can you can, you can zoom this one this is the cassava tree this is the cassava tree so if you still want to take some uh, 
cassavas you just go and dig them here there are people who don't know how cassavas are planted this is the stem and now the cassavas are you have to uh chini, and then you get the cassavas so let me show you what i was saying you can see at this time of the time of them of the year people are trying to cultivate the land and also they are planning to come and plant some potatoes here now they are waiting for they have already uh, prepared the land they are waiting for the rains so then so that they can they can plant so here we also do some bananas we also do some bananas here you can see you can just show them this is the banana here yeah this is the banana and uh just only uh that you don't have enough rains here at the moment but they usually do well as well so this is also the fruit it's almost this is not the hash this is another type of the uh of avocado sorry and uh, it's also in the process of making maybe later in the year we'll be selling some of the fruits there now my, mo my main focus uh is this tree here it's called the tomato tree maybe this one could can be can just let me show them this one is a big yeah this is the tomato tree you can see we have some fruit there and um you just want to take one you just have to this is the sweetness about home you don't have to go and uh, you just pick and eat but now you have to wash it because of some um health issues and i also can see the 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 the, the, the fruits were sprayed so we need to to go and uh wash them this is the tomato tree tomato fruit sorry so we are not yet done and i'm saying this is when there is no rains when there is rain this just like kenna so beautiful the green environment you wouldn't wish to go out of this beautiful wonderful place so i'll be going to show you another type of tree that we also have so that i can justify my my statements that at home you we have a lot of fruits you just have to decide which one that you want to take so join me as we go and for the next one so we also have some fruits here, tomato fruits, and uh, we are going to now to this part of the of the chamber. Just a small piece of land, but now with a lot of activities being done here. So this one, although has no fruit, it's called the popo tree. This is the popo tree. For those who don't know it, uh, it's only that I said. At this time of the year we don't have rains enough rains to uh for 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 the tree to produce some fruits and also um maybe later in the year if we happen to come again we'll find some fruits here that we can be able to to pluck and also go and feed but we have one there so i'll be that one is the one that i want you to see but before that let's come here before that so this is another type of the this is still the hash avocado you can see it has some fruits as well so there are many we can't even finish eating here some we do for we produce for selling and i think they are doing well here so it's very simple to to farm this one all you need to do is just to find a good agronomist or a good um, uh, agricultural officer to guide you on how to plant this the required the necessaries that you need to have so that you can be able to plant this now main focus is on that um i don't know whether you can see it maybe you can go there and they can see that just come just come here come here we also have some sugar canes here you see the sugar canes here no one is eating here because uh, there's no one at home uh, to eat this kind of 
and now they they are not even uh they're not many because we don't have rains at the moment and finally i'm showing you now the overhead uh the you can see the bananas are doing well so this is the popo this is the popo i'll be i want to i want to take it down i hope i will be able to oh my goodness ah uh, oh 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 hey it's tricky <laughs> oh. Let me try from this side. Let me try from this side. Woo! Yes. So I have it. Oh! Uh -huh. You can see, this is now the purple. So, this one is not ready for consumption. All you need to do is just keep it somewhere for like two days and then it will be ripe. This is how it is. And there used to be a lot here when rains were very frequent, but we hope maybe at the end of the year I'll we'll be having uh, some of them. And um, so we're gonna put them there. We go. We'll come for them. I want to to show you another tree that we have. It's called the guava tree. The guava tree. You know, you know, a lot of people don't know how don't know the guava tree, and this is the guava tree. If you go to the supermarket and you buy the guava juice, it's produced from guava. You can see that. I don't know whether you can see. Let me just have two of them here. These are the guavas, but now they are still very, um, uh, they're still very, uh, they've not matured. They have not ready for consumption. Yeah. So when they arrive, these will grow big. And also they turn the color so well you can just consume it as raw as it is as raw as it is just uh, make sure you don't fall there uh, so this is this is the guava tree and you see how how therapeutic it is to be at home you just decide what you want to take and now i think that's just enough for today i hope that you enjoyed the the show with me and now let me show you now the, 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 the fruits in large scale. Thank you. So thank you guys for still watching this episode at MC Jesse the Poet. Imagine we just hit 1,000 subscribers and I'm so happy for you. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you for you watching. And if you're still watching at this very moment, I just want to say I'm so much happy. And thank you for your subscription. Please, now we are at the, at the road to 2,000 subscribers. Now, we don't have to do 2,000 subscribers. 10,000 subscribers. And a lot of content is on the way. Thank you for having a moment with me at home. It was just unplanned. But now I think you've enjoyed my stay here for this very short time. So thank you very much, guys. I love you, all of you. And till the next episode, see you. May God bless you.